Bridget from Math Giraffe. I'm sharing today a better way to do a card sorting activity. I use these for when I want kids to classify a big picture idea. So I used to use a sorting mat and the kids would put the cards out and set them in the right category for each one. And this worked really well. The problem kind of became that I wanted too many cards in my set. I like to use a whole variety of different input, you know, graphs, diagrams, phrases made out of words. Um, every kind of information. So the stack became too big, the cards would all overlap, and then I couldn't grade it anything, anything because it fell apart. So I've tried laminating it at the station and having them write their name with a dry erase marker and then have a little camera out on the table and they could take a picture. But it still wasn't easy to grade because I couldn't see everything. So I like the new way a lot better. I have kids do it in little folding pockets in their interactive notebook or any kind of notebook. Um, and you can use any rectangular piece of paper. I have these ones typed out, but whatever your category is, the kids fold these so quickly. It's no problem at all for them. They just fold it up under the label and fold the sides back behind. And they can make as many little pockets for how many categories you might have. And I just like to use two little pieces of tape on the back, but glue works really well too. And then these can go right alongside the notes or you can do the activity on its own page and just attach them in here. They go ahead and put all their cards right inside here and everything stays together. And afterward, they can take it out and put it in a Ziploc if you really wanted. But what the great thing, I then came up with a new way to do the answers too. I would have them check their cards. I'd hand out the answer cards after they were all done and it shows them what's supposed to be in that pocket. And this was really quick and easy to make because they just numbered each card way down on the bottom. So then they tuck these in just behind once they've checked all their work. And the great thing is then they can redo this activity, the whole thing as a study guide anytime they want because they have all the pieces they need. Um, I make them really tight fitting, but if you're worried about things falling out, then you just use a Ziploc or something when they want to go put their notebook away. And they love having this as a review resource for before their test. So this one I had typed up already, but you can do it with any topic. So let's say you were doing um, in chemistry and you wanted to do compounds and molecules. So you can have the kids right on the spot. They can write the label out right when you tell them. You don't have to have these prepped. And you would have a mix for this one. Your cards could be a mix of, you know, images, diagrams, word phrases, or the name of something. And you can even make these pockets nesting is what I'm gonna show you here. So you have them write their labels and you can have them different sizes. So for classifications where one fits inside another, you'll just have them fold up their pocket. And for this one, I'm folding it right underneath my label. That way it'll nest really nicely because I'll fold the other one up a little bit higher. So then if they want it to nest inside, just fold, leave some more space below the label like this. And then it'll tuck right inside. So then you could have all your matching cards and they could do an activity like this. And then some of the cards would be a molecule but not a compound would go here and cards that are a compound will go here and they're really inside both pockets. So there's a ton of different ways. Just think about for your class, what are the big picture classification ideas that you want your kids to be able to organize and they can do it with these nice little folding pockets.